everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance and Integrated Peak Performance Services. I'm also the author of Journey of Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, A Blueprint for Life Balance and Self Mastery, available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and in Canada, Chapters Indigo Online. Also, I'm the creator of the Journey of Personal Greatness Journal. Now, this journal is something I give to my clients when they, when they work with me. But I want you to get any journal, it, anything works. All I want you to do is to be able to take your thoughts. We, we think 60,000 thoughts a day. Most of them are repetitive and most of them are negative in nature. But what I want you to do is to even dump the negative stuff on here and take a look at them for what they really are so they don't whirl around in your head and start to cause issues through your daily life. And also you get to see them when they're repetitive in nature, you get to connect them, connect the dots and see where they came from and where the genesis of them are. And, but that only comes from you looking at it. Take a look at it, because when you're in your stuff, you just can't see your way out. Journaling is the way, all right? So get your journal and let's start this coaching program together. All right, so to, this is Monday Mindset. This is the part of the week. It's the beginning of the week, and I get to give you a little checkup from the neck up. I get to set your mindset right with a few words, and the hope is that these words connect, and they, they're the last little combination lock to, to open it up for you, and so you can chase your personal greatness. It's a great way to start the week. On Wednesday, we have Hump Day Hustle, where I give you a little nudge to take care of the temple, take care of the body, and take you through the rest of the week. And then Saturday, we finish it off with a little soul food, something for the soul to nurture it and to get you finishing the week in a nice way. All right, so Monday Mindset. This one I want to talk about is be a finisher. This one's really cool. It came to me because of a, something that was mentioned to me last few weeks ago, and I'll let you in on that in a second. All right, the key points are, are you still doing that? And number two is don't expect a buy-in. The action step, I always give action steps with this because I don't believe in just pumping you full of information. I want to give you something to take away. Until you start to work with me, I'm going to give this is all from me to you. All right, the next one, action steps, is 10x, step, 10x rule and be relentless, my motto. All right, so number one, are you still doing that? Here's the deal. Last, a few weeks ago, this person came up to me and they said, hey, how's that book thing going? You still doing the book thing? As if, so in my mind I'm thinking, isn't that funny that you asked me that? As if I just wrote that book for, you know, something to do, you know, a couple of weeks of doing this and I'm moving on back to my regular programming and just, you know, work it out. You know, I spend all the time, money, effort, energy, and my history and life pouring into this book and it's, hey, you still doing that book thing? So my point is, it made me chuckle because I'm thinking when you start something new, People are waiting. They, 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 they're so used to people quitting halfway through the journey or even at the start of the journey that I don't blame her for asking me, are you still doing a book thing? Because, hey, it's a fair question. The average books, book writer sells about 100 to 500 tops in the lifetime of the book. And you see, my goal is by putting out these videos and hustling and putting the time in and doing everything I do is make sure that my books don't sit in my garage. I, have a, I had a passion when I wrote that book and it wasn't to just check it off my bucket list. It was to get it out there and to get the information that I have gleaned from my clients from all those years. I want to help others. I see what one person suffers with. Everybody struggles with the same thing. I don't care where you are in the world or what you're going, man, woman. It doesn't even matter sexual orientation. We all struggle with the same thing. So I wanted to put that in, distill in that book and give it to you. So how you can use this example is what, what have you started that you have let time, lack of energy, resources, people's opinions stop you halfway through first quarter way through, three quarters of the way through, when did you let it stop you? And little comments like that, are you still doing that? That, that can have the effect of deterring a lot of people from doing what they want to do because it's kind of a little dig at kind of showing you some doubt that you're, you can do this. But they're just checking in. So number two, don't expect a buy-in. Whatever you start, people are waiting to see. We all do it. You see somebody put some business up online or some start, they crack open and put a little their, their plaque up on the, the wall, they're ready to start their business. And everyone kind of just looks at the corner of their eye, waiting to see, are they serious about this? 
How long are you gonna do this? Because the average person quits, so they're expecting you to quit. They expect to see what is this, another flavor of the month. So don't expect to buy in at the beginning. You gotta keep going, you gotta keep pushing, and not everyone's gonna buy into your dream. It's your dream. Remember, you're the only one who sees this. You're not fun by being, by chasing your personal greatness, personal. You are the only one that's gonna see this dream in, in your mind, in your heart. You see it, you know what it should look like. Don't expect people to buy in right away. All right, so the action steps. The 10X rule, I love this book. Grant Cardone, he wrote the, the 10X rule. Um, look it up, it's a great book, I've been reading it and it's really inspired me because there's always more you can do. There's more I can do. I can do blogging, I can do more podcasts, I can do, there's so many things I can do and that's what it showed me is that when you think you've gone far enough, there is more, you, if you really want it. Those who, that's a, that is why the, the successful people we look at are 20 to 1% and it just dilutes up to the top of the 1% and we look at them and go, wow, because they, they have put in the work. They have put in the work where others would quit, they keep going. There, there's a, that's a 10X rule. You can do more, you can add more value. So think about that. Where in your life, where is something that you want to do that you know? We all know we waste a little time here and there. We say we're busy, you know. We can all say, I'm busy, 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 busy. But are you being effective? Is it effective, busy? Are you just busy watching time go? Or, you know, you've wasted on Facebook or, you're, or you've wasted it in idle chatter. Think about that for a minute, okay? 10X rule, add that to your life. Last one, be relentless. Again, relentless means nothing stops you. You're committed to seeing it through all the way. When someone asks you, are you still doing that? You gotta laugh, because they think you just started this for something to do. You're bored, you know? They don't realize the passion that you have. And don't expect to buy in. That's what relentless is about. No one's gonna buy into your dream at the beginning. Forget about it, don't even dream about it. And if they do, and it might be your mother or your wife, they're still also going, I gotta support you because I'm married to you or you're my son. But they're also kind of waiting to see. So don't expect to buy in. You gotta be relentless. Pursuit, it's a relentless pursuit day in and day out. And sooner or later, everyone, you start seeing everybody piling in on your wagon. Your bandwagon will be full of all these people who they believed in you, but they weren't showing up at the beginning. So you gotta keep it going. All right, so the, to the topic, be a finisher. You got to be a finisher. Whatever you start, you finish it. You made a promise to yourself and that is the only person that's important is that you made a promise to yourself. Forget about everybody else. You made a promise to yourself. Get going and get it done. You started it. Finish it. Be a finisher and be relentless about your pursuit for personal greatness.